Hey, what's going on, social media family? I hope everybody is having an absolute amazing day. I want to share something with you that I'm going to say this has probably been about the last three or four weeks that the Lord's really been speaking to my heart about. Um, if you know anything about me, you know I absolutely love prayer. I love my one on one time with the Lord, and I love the Word of God. And so, what I do and what I base my life off of is my personal walk in relationship with the Lord. And recently, just the more time I spend with, with God, it's like the sweeter and sweeter that time is. Uh, my hunger for God is growing. My hunger for the Word of God is, is growing. It's just, I love spending time in the presence. I love getting in the presence of the Lord. And recently, when I've been spending time with the Lord, I really don't want to leave. I mean, I'm finding free moments throughout my day that I'll just slide away and just dive into to the Word for a minute, dive into prayer and just extra time with Him. And I realized something. This is just not me wanting to pray or just wanting to spend time with the Lord. This was a drawing by Holy Spirit. And, and over the last three or four weeks, it's just like the Lord's been speaking to me about diving deep, diving deep, just, just deep into the Lord. And so as I've been leaning in, you, everybody receives from the Lord differently. A lot of people receive from the word. A lot of people receive from prophetic words. A lot of people just spend time with prayer. Just everybody receives in different ways, numerous different ways. But I just want to share with you just what I've been feeling over the, over the past couple of weeks. It's like God is calling people to himself at a stronger way, at a deeper level, okay? And the reason he's doing that is, is twofold. Number one, he loves you and he wants to spend more time with you. Just like here in a little while, my son and I, we're gonna go have some, we call it man time, father-son time. We're gonna go just hang out. A lot of times we go eat wherever he wants to go. We're gonna to go to a movie and we're gonna hang out together, you know? There's different times, uh, both of my daughters, we, we, we'll just go spend different time. One of my kids loves uh, videography and videos and my other daughter, she loves volleyball and she you know plays on a club team and so, I just love spending time with them. And my wife and I, we do a coffee date, sometimes two a day, you know, when she's really blessed. And relationships that are important to me, I dive into them and I wanna maximize my time in those relationships because they're given to me by God. What happens is a lot of people don't maximize their walk with God. You're you're not getting all that God wants you to receive, okay? So you glean from God in different, we, we all glean from God in, in different ways. Like I remember I was talking to two older gentlemen one day and one guy said he spends, he's retired, you know, he spends like something like 20 hours a week in prayer. And the other guy talked about how much he reads the word, like he'll actually read through the word every four months the whole word, and he was talking about how much he does, he loves the word, and, and, and everybody's strengthened in different things. So I want you to really focus in on diving deep. Okay, number one, we dive deep in, in with the Lord because he loves us and we're strengthening our relationship with him. When you value a relationship, you'll strengthen it. The second thing is you need to dive deep into God right now because he needs you in a deeper place in your relationship with him to be able to carry out and steward the things that he has for you too, okay? I gotta give you the word real quick. Psalms 119, 911. How can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word? With my whole heart I've sought after you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I've hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Now, I wanna start off I want to talk about uh, 119.9 real quick. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. Unless you know the word, <laughs> you can't take heed to the word. So 
what, what I encourage you to do is, is spend extra time in the Word of God. Uh, you know, in, in my life, one of the things that I try to do is every time I come upon a circumstance or a situation or even a trial test, whatever it may be, that I always have a scripture that Holy Spirit can draw from automatically. Well, the Word says. Well, the Word says. That doesn't align with the Word. Um, and, and when you spend more time in the Word of God, you will know the Word, okay? Now, another thing is your, your time in prayer. I'm addicted to the presence of God. I, I, I cannot go. Like Moses said, if your presence does not go, I don't want to go. I remember when I was a lot younger, I had an amazing door open for me in ministry. Oh, I was so excited about it. I was so excited about it. And, and I got ready to speak at, at this big conference, and I got up there. I didn't really feel the presence of the Lord. And as I started speaking, I was thinking like, okay, I really don't feel the presence of the Lord. And then I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me and say, I didn't tell you to come here, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bless you anyway. And then all of a sudden, I felt just the Holy Spirit come in. I was young, and, and I, I just said, Lord, I, you know, I just, I just saw this, you know, this good opportunity, this good door open for me, and I just, I just went for it. But I, I, if I was deeper in my walk with God, I would have listened to the Holy Spirit. You know? And so you got to listen to the Holy Spirit. Where God is wanting to take you and I, it is at a place that, that we need to know him. We need to be able to you know, divide the good and the God. We need to be able to understand and have discernment in, in our relationships, in our business dealings, and the marketplace anointing is about to become strong on some people. Um, different things uh, recently over the, the, the past two months, I'm blown away with what God's doing with my wife and I. And I've had to realize that a lot of really good doors came to us and, and Holy Spirit was like, you know, that's a great opportunity, but it's not your opportunity. And so I had to say no to some things that didn't make any sense that I was saying no to. But as soon as I did, and within in a week or two later, God opened up a door that he immediately said, go through. And so if I wasn't um, deeper in a walk with him, I, I would have said yes to a wrong door that I would have had to say no a few weeks later to the right, a right door, okay? And so, like I remember a while back, somebody asked me to come minister at an event and I looked at my calendar and I was like, I don't have anything, you know, during this day, it's a perfect day for me to go minister. Holy Spirit's like, no. So I didn't. A few days later, I got a call for the same day. And I was like, wow, Lord, you know, this is the, the strength in your diving deep with the Lord. And I feel so strongly in my spirit that God is asking us to dive deep into him right now because he needs you to dive deep. He needs you to know him at, I'm just going to say, the deepest place you've ever known him because what he's going to ask of us is going to be great. And I really believe that a lot of times to the amount that God trusts us with things is according to and equivalent to our relationship with him. He's not going to give you more than your character and integrity will be able to stand. He's not going to give you so much it would destroy you. So a lot of times, you know, God's waiting on us to dive deeper into him and spend time with him. You look at the life of Jesus, and I want you to really understand how many times Jesus went away. Mark 135, Jesus got up early in the morning, went to a solitary place where he prayed. Mark 646, you know, Jesus put the disciples basically to bed, and then he went away and spent time at night. He was always spending time with the Father. He was really always wanting to cultivate his relationship. Even like in the in the garden when he had to make in the Garden of Gethsemane. When he needed to make some big decisions, he's like, look, Father, I don't want to do this. But if this is my lot in life, 
at this cup, I have to take it, I, I'll do what I have to do, but I don't want to do it. So the, the deeper that you dive in with God, the more he'll, he can and will do in your life. But, it, but this is what people don't understand. It is based on a relationship, a relationship. The Lord's asked me to do some things that I did not want to do. But you know what? After I did them, I was like, wow, that was fun, God. I'm so glad I did. I didn't see the outcome in the natural like I thought it would end up being. And so I encourage you today, friends, dive deep in with the Lord. He's calling you. It's like there's a wooing of the Spirit right now. You know, whenever I read the Word of God, I've never, I've never in my life came alive like I am right now when I read. I've never been in the place of prayer by myself and heard the Lord so clearly. It's like over the past few months, I've been prophesying and speaking a lot about insight and clarity. Well, I'm telling you right now, there's an insight and a clarity that I've never, never really remembered having this, this many prophetic encounters and flowing with the Lord. And so I just want to encourage you today. Go after God with everything. He's calling us. That I thought the wooing of the Spirit is coming our way. So, friends, I love you guys. Hey, if you want prayer for anything, remember you can always go to the website, jojodawson.net, go to the contact connect button, hit that button, and send me a, a, a prayer request, not a prayer book. Send me two, three sentences. You know, just love helping people. Uh, a lot of people always message me about our health coaching program. You know, my wife and I are health coaches, and we absolutely love being health coaches. Uh, if you'll know about our program, Lose Weight, Walk in Wellness, you know, Walk in Health, message me. If you'll know about our coaching opportunities, it's uh, radically changed my wife and I's life physically and financially because we, we believe in it. We love what we do. And so it's a great company. It's been in the top 25 fastest growing companies for the last two years in a row on Fortune Magazine. It's uh, traded on the New York Stock Exchange, rated A plus on Bloomberg. Great company. And uh, I, I just, hey, about that, I was diving in deep in prayer one day. The Holy Spirit spoke to me to do this with, uh, with my coach, uh, one of my mentors in life. You never know what God's going to ask you to do. When the Lord started speaking to me about doing videos on social media, I was like, all right, Lord, I, uh, I don't see myself doing that, but I, I will. You know, the Lord spoke to me about writing books, and I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't know, Lord. I think, I don't know how many, I think I've written 14 books now. Just follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Dive deep. Dive deep into God and, and watch what he does. It's a great season. I love you guys.